In the beginning, before there was anything, there was... Who? Welcome, dear audience, as we journey back in time to uncover one of the greatest mysteries of all time. Picture, if you will, a time before time itself, a moment before the creation of the world, a period so far back in the annals of history that it boggles the mind. Now let's introduce a character, a figure of great importance, a figure of great reverence, Jesus. But this isn't about Jesus, the man, the prophet, or the savior, as he is traditionally understood. This is about Jesus before all of that. Before the world was created, before time began, who was Jesus? This is a question that has puzzled theologians, scholars, and believers alike for centuries. Was he simply a divine presence, a spiritual entity, or something more? These are the questions that we will attempt to answer. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this mystery. Prepare yourselves for an enlightening journey. The Bible, a, a treasure trove of information, might hold some clues to our big question. Unearthing these insights necessitates a deep dive into the ancient texts, and that's exactly what we're about to do. The Gospel of John, in its opening verses, presents an intriguing premise. It talks about the word, or logos, existing from the beginning and all things being made through it. Then it goes further, identifying this word with Jesus. This passage suggests that Jesus was present as the Logos even before the world was created. In the epistle to the Colossians, Paul, the apostle, echoes this idea. He writes about Jesus being the image of the invisible God and the firstborn of all creation. This implies that Jesus was not only present at the beginning of creation, but also had a role in shaping it. Moving on, a passage in the book of Revelation introduces Jesus as the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. This metaphorical language paints a picture of Jesus existing outside the constraints of time, further hinting at his pre-existence. Another verse to take note of is found in the Gospel of John, where Jesus speaking to the Father refers to the glory he had with him before the world began. This statement, spoken by Jesus himself, is a direct claim of his existence prior to the creation of the world. Now it's important to clarify that these interpretations are not definitive. They are based on the text and are subject to various theological perspectives. Our aim here is not to dictate beliefs, but to explore possibilities and stimulate thought. These verses surely give us food for thought, but can we find more evidence beyond the Bible? Uh, let's step outside the biblical realm and into the vast expanse of history. What do historical records say about Jesus' existence before the world? As we delve into the annals of time, we find a multitude of perspectives on the pre-existence of Jesus. From ancient philosophers to modern-day scholars, a myriad of theories and interpretations abound. The early church fathers, for instance, were divided on the subject. Some, like Justin Martyr and Origen, held the belief in the Logos, the divine reason implicit in the cosmos, governing and permeating all things including Jesus. They believed that Jesus, as the Logos, existed in the beginning with God, even before the creation of the world. Meanwhile, other scholars such as Arius argued that only God the Father was eternal, and that Jesus was a created being, not co-eternal with the Father. This belief, known as Arianism, sparked intense debate and ultimately led to the Council of Nicaea in the 4th century, where it was deemed heretical. Fast forward to the Enlightenment age, philosophers like Immanuel Kant and Friedrich Schleiermacher offered a more nuanced perspective. They suggested that Jesus, as a historical figure, began his existence at birth, but his divine nature, his logos, was eternal. Moving into the 20th century, scholars like Rudolf Bultmann and Karl Barth re-emphasized the concept of Jesus' pre-existence arguing that the Christ event was a historical manifestation of the eternal Logos. They brought a fresh approach by integrating existential philosophy into their theological interpretation. And in our contemporary era, some theologians propose that Jesus' pre-existence is metaphorical, symbolizing his divine mission, while others still maintain a literal interpretation, seeing Jesus as the eternal Son of God. As we can see, historical records present a fascinating tapestry of beliefs and interpretations about Jesus' existence before the creation of the world. They provide us with a rich, multi-layered insight, yet they also leave us with more questions than answers. History gives us many perspectives, but the truth remains elusive. 
let's see what modern thoughts have to offer. Fasten your seatbelts, folks. We're about to delve into the world of modern interpretations. What do contemporary thinkers have to say about Jesus' pre-world existence? Let's dive right in. A popular perspective among modern theologians is the Logos Christology. It proposes that Jesus, as the word or Logos, existed with God from the beginning, partaking in the act of creation. This theory paints a picture of a divine Jesus, intricately intertwined with the fabric of the universe itself. On the other hand, some scholars argue for a more metaphorical interpretation. They suggest that Jesus' existence before the creation of the world is symbolic, representing his eternal spiritual significance rather than a literal pre-existence. And then there are the adoptionists. They propose that Jesus was a regular human being who was adopted by God at his baptism, becoming divine from that point forward. This theory, while controversial, offers a fresh perspective on the nature of Jesus' divinity. Each of these theories brings something unique to the table and each has its strengths and weaknesses. Some align more closely with traditional religious teachings, while others push the boundaries of interpretation. But here's the thing, none of these theories can be definitively proven or disproven. They're all interpretations shaped by our understanding of ancient texts and our personal beliefs. And that's okay, because at the end of the day, the quest for truth is less about finding definitive answers and more about asking the right questions, contemplating the mysteries, and growing in wisdom along the way. The truth, as we see, is a matter of perspective, and the quest to uncover it is a journey worth undertaking. Our journey has been enlightening. We've looked at biblical clues, historical records, and modern theories. But have we found the answer? We've explored Jesus' existence before the creation of the world, We've delved into the scriptures, examined the historical context, and considered modern interpretations. And what have we learned? That the journey of discovery is personal and unique to each of us. That the answers we seek often lead to more questions. The mystery remains, and perhaps that's the beauty of it all. What points are relevant to you have we failed to mention? Please comment below. We reply to all comments.